Most people practice rhythms like this. And the, actually, the faster you want to play, the faster these rhythms have to be. And honestly, if, if you can train your finger to do it as fast as possible, then in the normal tempo, it'll be much easier. So I try to be lightning quick with these rhythms. And that forces you to, you know, we're isolating just the relationship between two given notes, right, when we do rhythms. It forces you to challenge yourself to see how close to the next note you can be. So that's forcing me to basically play this as a double stop. If I were to... I would never realize how close I have to be to all these notes. So... Um, it, it, isolating these uh, relationships between two given notes allows us to sort of um, zero in on the fast connections without playing fast. So separate those, those tight, you know, fast notes with, you know, long pauses. You don't have to play the long notes fast. Um, when we're drilling something, when we're uh, practicing something technically, another good thing to keep in mind is to not focus on the note that you're playing or the finger that you're playing. Have your awareness on the other fingers. Where is my next finger before I play it? Or where is the next hand shape before I get to that hand shape? So I'm not thinking of the note that I'm playing. I'm thinking of what I'm doing with everything else. I realize that I have to get my elbow in position first. And here, I'm not thinking of these notes. I'm thinking of this motion. Because as, as I do this motion, it encompasses the, the next note. So I don't have to be thinking of one, four, the... If I just rotate, the four will happen naturally as part of the shape. Um, and in doing that, I'm able to, at the same time, prepare for the, for the shift. And here, having the fingers separate so that it's ready to reach and it's not it's not here getting surprised that it has to go. Um, we have to be so sensitive to our sense of touch that it's almost like our fingers smell the next note. The, the, our hands smell the next shape before it happens. So that mentally and, and momentum wise and shape wise, we're, we're as ready as we can be for the next, uh, for the next thing. So the other rhythms that I like to practice are, so the other one. And now groupings. So first stop on the first note. And then second note. Third note. And then fourth note. And then 
we gotta make bigger groupings from there. So eight. And then finally we can try we can go for the whole thing. Um, the purpose of these uh, building blocks and groupings is to have us examine, you know, how what does it take to get from the first note to the fourth note, like that. What does it take to get from the first note to the third note? What does it take for, for us to go from and then from and then from being able to stop on any of these notes allows us to have really deliberate um, control over where our hands are going. And um, many times when you haven't done this kind of meticulous rhythm practice, um, you'll be playing something fast and it, it feels like some, some parts of it are just falling, just running. And you don't quite have the control over every step of the way. Now, in the end, we should not be thinking of note by note. It should be one thread through all these building blocks that we've, we've uh, drilled.